Hey there everyone, it's me again, Davis, and today we're going to be coming with a new topic on how to walk on walls in Godot. So as you can see here, um, I jumped and I cling to the wall, like I can move, cling to the wall, move up and down, and yeah, I think that would be, that really worked well. I didn't really have to stress myself on this. Anyways, it worked really nicely and it's nice. I like it. So. First thing I want to tell you is, I'm just going to exit this. So first thing I want to show you is, um, my time map here is not um, gotten from like a rigid body or a, or a or a, another scene that was converted to a tile set and all that stuff. So what what actually why how my player is configured right now? It's going to even move like Flappy Bird where um it doesn't have to wait till the ground i'm just going to show you how that works right now i don't have any movement code as you can see my player can jump on the air which is wrong and this is not actually a platformer yet so we're going to fix all this right now it's going to go right into it so um here where you see my jump code um i'm just going to comment this um jump code so that you won't get confused so this here where you see my jump code, I'm just gonna put something at the side here which is and is underscore on wall. Well if you converted your tile set to um your tile a scene to a tile sheet or be a tile set, um you can use is on floor, but since I didn't do that, this is just a raw tile set, um I have to use is on wall because is on floor won't work, but this is on wall actually has a bug. Where if I go to the um it's actually jumping, I can't jump on the air. But if I go to the wall and I like keep pressing the right key and I try to press up, you see that I can move up on top of the wall and it's still having that effect. So we won't we don't want that and we're going to be setting um kind of a detection system. If for reason if you want to use a Raycast 2D for the detection, it will work because Raycast 2D is from what I've seen doesn't detect this kind of term map. It only detects um, the one that was converted to a tile sheet, um, a scene that had static bodies in it, and all that stuff. So, if you didn't understand anything I just said, John, don't worry, just carry on with what I'm gonna show you. And I don't think this part, um, I think I'm gonna split this into parts so you can go ahead and skip to the part that you want. Um, right now, I want to set up the, gra the grounded, um, the ground work, and all that stuff. So. I want to set up a variable here, var grounded. I would have actually set up all the variables we need right now, but I don't want to do that so that you guys won't get confused. So grounded will be equal to false, and that's because right now our layer is literally on the air, so grounded will be false, and we're not, that means we're not on the ground. So we're gonna go back to the player, um, false. So we're going to go back to the player and we're going to add an area to the and a collision shape to the. So as you can see, um, this is our area and I'm just going to name this GND DTCT, I guess. Yeah, so our collision shape is going to be a new segment shape, which is kind of a line and that's nice. I think we're going to reduce the size of this line here where you see B is going to be like um, let's say 5 yeah so just to reduce the size of the line there just to make it as small as possible but I don't advise you using one or something close to that and make sure that your collision shape is kind of up um, kind of above um, it's, not, it's not touching this line to the because yeah we don't want that we're going to go back to our GND detection and we're going to connect some signals. We're going to connect the body entered and the body exited. So we're just going to do that quickly. We're going to connect it to the player script. And here we're going to set up some things. So we want to say, um, we want to get the tile map. So we want to say if body is the tile map, then we want to set grounded to true and false and all that respectively. So we're going to go back to our game and our tile map here, we're going to give it a group. So AC groups, we're going to give it, under the node tab, we're going to give it a group. The name of this group will be tile map. So that's the name of the group, and we're going to add it there. 
If you have not used the group system before, don't be scared. I'm gonna walk you through how this works. And yeah, we'll go, we'll go back to our player script. So if we're touching the body, if we're touching, um, if we detect the body, next thing we want to do is we want to check if the body dot is in group is underscore group. Yeah. So we're gonna check if the body is in a group, and the name of the group is style map. Thumb up. So if we if we touch a body that is in the group of thumb maps, then we want to set grounded to true. That means we're touching the ground. So if the name of the body, um, if the body is in the is in the thumb up group, that means we're touching the ground. So we're gonna copy this and paste it here. It's kind of easy. Just make this false, and that will work nicely. So if we try it again, you're gonna see. How this works in this tutorial I'm gonna be doing so much trials because I really want everybody to follow along and uh, yeah if we move we can move up okay <laughs> we made a mistake we meant to say um, here in our jump code we want to say and ground it so if we're touching the ground and we press the up key then that should work nicely so as you can see I can't jump on the air anymore and if we go to the walls, I can't I can't jump um, the way it was before because yeah it works. So that's what I want to do. Um, the next thing I want to do is actually the clinging to walls and making um, the player to jump to the wall. And yeah, that's what I want to do. We're gonna use the same system that we use, but in this case, the um, the collision shape we're actually pointing left or right. But at default, it's going to be pointing up, and I'm going to show you why all this is um, in a second. So we're going to make another area to be, and a collision shape to be. So the area to be, the name we're going to be, let's say, climb um, score wall, and the collision shape to be, as you guessed it, is going to be the line, um, the segment shape to be. So we're going to move this guy just to be in the middle of the sprite. So we're gonna move it up and just position it there at the middle of the sprite. And we're gonna make this collision shape project upwards here. So as you can see, it's gonna project upwards, and that's because it's going to rotate left and right. We don't want a situation where it's gonna be we'll have another area to D that will point left, another one that will point light right. That would just be wrong. That that would just be hard and yeah, I'm not good. I don't know, but I, that's just sick. So what we have, um, yeah, we're gonna be rotating this guy. We're gonna be rotating if we could. Um, it's gonna rotate according to our present position, and yeah, that will work out. So we go over here to our physics process function, and when we want, actually, when we want to climb somewhere, we want our gravity to be set to false. So I'm gonna say if okay, I'm gonna make another variable var grv to be equal to true by default because by default we want gravity to be true and here is my gravity code where I just increase move to also move move dot y. So we're gonna say if grv so if only if grv is equal to false then that's the time we want to carry out our gravity code. But if it's not, we skip that and continue from where we stop. So that's it, and here is actually my linear movement where I get action strength left and right. I'm not going to be explaining how that works in this video, but yeah, that's going to get a minus one or a plus one, so which is going to be multiplied by 300 and going to attend that to move the x. So that's nice, and now it's time to rotate this guy here. So here we're going to say we're going to make another variable. We're going to make um, about five variables. So, so we'll make another variable which is last direction. So last direction is going to be equal to zero by default. And here we're going to assign last direction to the move um, MVE. I won't call it move MVE. So last. Okay, I think I'm going to put this under here. So last direction is equal to MVE, but 
this will actually get a 1 minus 1 or a 0 because yeah sometimes it will be 0 and we don't want it to ever be 0 so we want to say I'm um, sorry we want to say if sorry if um, if MBE is not equal to 0 then we want to set last direction to MBE so if MBE is not 0 then whatever last direction is it to be MV sorry whatever MV is it to be last direction so now we're going to call the climb wall and we need to rotate it rotation degrees should be equal to last direction multiplied by 90 so this is going to um, as I said before it's going to get a minus 1 or a plus 1 so if it's a minus it's going to rotate 90 degrees to the left and it's a plus 90 degrees to the right which will um, kind of yeah which is really flexible so that's it for the rotation and now it's time for the real jumping so we want to say up here just above the jump code we're going to say if climb okay okay no we've, we've not we've not set the climb variable yet so go over here and say var climb equal to false so here down here we're going to go back here and say if climb so if we're climbing at um, at that moment we want to set grv to equal to false because when we want to climb we want to we don't want to have gravity anymore so we're going to set grv to false then else else grv equal to true actually these four lines of code here can just be changed to one line of code but for beginners um i think this will this is what they will use but actually i'm going to take this to the next level so i'm just going to say um it's going to say grv equals to not climb so it's a grv equal to not climb so it's going to get what climb is and if climb is true then it wants to set grv to false yeah because we say not climb and yeah vice versa so over here again we're going to say if climb or no not yet <laughs> no we do that yet and yeah i think this should work out i think i'm just going to try it and see if it works and we try go to the wall and yeah it doesn't work so why is this the reason for this is because we've not actually connected the signals we need to connect in the player so climb wall has to connect the same signals that um, gnd detect connected so yeah do that body and search same um body detect body exited sorry connect that we're going to just get rid of this and we're just going to copy this code and paste it here so sorry yeah so it's going to set not grounded anyways we're going to set climb and we're going to set it to true so if we touch the tile map again and as you can see if we're touching the tile map that means we're touching the sides because this is actually going to rotate and I'm going to show you how, um, how that actually works. So we're going to copy this again and paste it here. So the climb will be equal to false when we exit the body. We're going to um, go to our game scene and we're going to enable visible collision shapes over here in the bug so that I can really show you how this works and the rotation and everything. So uh, here we are. We're just going to wait for this. My laptop's really slow. I'm sorry for that. So here is my um, line. It might actually be difficult to see the video, but here is my line, and it's facing up. And if I move right, it's going to face right, and remain there, and move left. It's going to do the same. So if I go over here and try to cling to a wall, you can see that I'm not pressing anything, but it's still moving up, and that's actually the bug we're going to fix. So as you can see, it just keeps moving up. It's going to continue with our normal y velocity, and we're not going to need we won't, we won't, we won't like that. So yeah, what we're going to do is go back to our script, 
and where we when climb is true then we're gonna say if climb then if climb is true then we're going to set move the y move the y to be equal to zero so this will work out i don't want to try it and it's kind of easy to understand um if climb is true then move the y will be zero and over here if we run it again we're gonna see that we can move up and down on the walls so yeah from my other preview you will know that we can move up and down so we're going to say and grounded so not only when we're grounded or climbed so if we're climbing or we're grounded then we can move up then we're actually going to put this in parentheses because this is necessary so we're going to say if this if we're pressing the up key and we're grounded or we're climbing then we want to increase our y value um yeah this will work for the up we're gonna check it out i'm gonna try again we're gonna see how this works out so we go we go to the side there and you see that we kind of cling to the wall without moving up or down so if we try to move up we can move up but we can't move down and we're going to fix that right now actually i'm going to um disable my collision shapes yeah because we don't want to see those anymore and here below this we're going to just it's kind of simple just if input dot is underscore action um action pressed and if we're pressing the what down key yeah ui underscore down and we're on the climb because yeah now we're in climb then move the x move the y sorry move the y should be equal to 300 a positive value so this will work out i i would have actually put this 300 in like a variable and do all those things uh, but I like using uh, magic numbers. I call them magic numbers. Um, I like using magic numbers so that you guys can really understand what's going on. Because if there are too much variables, everywhere just be scattered and not easy to understand. So we're gonna check it again, and hopefully we'll be able to move up and down on our walls. We're gonna try that. Go to the left here. We cling. We can go up. We can go down. So this is nice i really like this this is really nice it's kind of cool <laughs> to walk on walls if you have an animation you can just do that and yeah you know the way to play animations so you just play the animation when you're moving up or moving down if you have such animations anyway so now we can move up and down and climb on walls which is really nice and yeah i love this I actually spent like 30 minutes playing around with this because it's really cool. So, um, as usual, this project will be available on GitHub. But I don't know if my GitHub actually, I don't know how GitHub works. If it sucks, tell me. I'm sorry for how it might look. But yeah, I don't, I don't really know how, how to work, implement that. So anyways, I'll try my best to put it on GitHub and the link will be in the description. And if you have any questions, as always, leave it down in the comment section or go on my Discord channel or anywhere. And yeah, you can do that. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching. And at 1K subs, we're doing a face reveal, so which you definitely don't want to miss. So as always, thanks again and goodbye.